We're in conversation with the winner of the NRI of the Year Award in the Academics category for the UK and Europe region, PhD in Cardiology from Maastricht University, Netherlands, Dr. Narendra Kumar. Sir, you are among the first to pass both the level one and the level two in the European Board Certification exam in the field of cardiac electrophysiology. Today, we're of course celebrating your success story, but what are the challenges that you encountered along the way? Thank you so much uh, for the congratulations. I must say it has been a long journey, especially to become a cardiac electrophysiologist. And it has been a not only long journey, but it also needed a lot of time as well. So in which sometimes I had to compromise on my family issues and other things as well. And I must uh, uh, say thank you to my countrymen and of course to my professors also at Maastricht University, especially my mentor, Dr. Carl Timmermans and Hein Wellens, who all have been the people who literally started up this field in the whole world. And they have been kind enough to help share the knowledge with me and I was able to pass this exam. India is of course the coronary artery disease capital of the world. Has that consciously or perhaps subconsciously played a role in your decision to pursue cardiovascular management professionally? When I was a young kid, my father was a district assistant judge. I was just seven or eight years old when he had to undergo a bypass surgery. I'm sure this is relevant to a lot of other people as well because in India, the coronary artery disease starts to happen almost a decade before compared to the Western counterpart. And as I said, it, even in India, I have seen people with age of 18 to 20 years having a heart attack. So this was definitely one of the motivation for me to go towards cardiology. In fact, a lot of the people who get stroke, 65% of them tend to have an arrhythmia, which is called as atrial fibrillation. So I would like to really say there's a lot of scope, especially in these kind of uh, fields, especially for the stroke uh, management, arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation ablation as well. And we can definitely assure those people have a much better quality of life and they can the mortality and the morbidity as well of those patients can definitely decrease significantly. I would really request those people to be seen by specialists who are trained well in atrial fibrillation ablation. Well that leads me to my next question. And NRIs, surely by way of their life experiences, they inherently have a global perspective. Does that offer them a unique advantage when it comes to humanizing healthcare? We do have our Indian roots and connections, but we definitely take care or try to help our things, especially to the whole world, and we are trying to help them as well. But let's not forget our roots, which is based in India, and we should also try to give back to our respective fields in which we are experts in India as well. We can share our expertise and also help our Indian colleagues and friends as well to bring them to a global level. And what's especially fascinating about your background is that you've spent so much time studying cardiovascular disease in both domestic and international environments. So curious to understand how they differ and how can you capitalize on those synergies? I must say as well, in my initial nine years of uh, medical field, being in India, nine to ten years, I hardly had published any paper. But later on, being at Maastricht University, in the daytime we had to do the clinical procedures. However, in the weekends or the evening hours, we had to do our research work as well. It did take me a little bit of time to graduate slowly to the research orientation of the mind and started producing papers. And also, later on, I became some of the editorial board members for some of the most reputed journals. So most of my work has been on heart arrhythmias. But this is one of the key messages that we should try to generate good quality data and also try to publish them as well because that's how science or the field of research grows. We can learn from them and we can try to implement the newer things as well. So you've been selected among hundreds as an NRI of the year. What does it feel like? Thank you so much. It's really an amazing feeling. I must thank the ICICI Bank and Times Group for doing a felicitation and giving us an opportunity to, to reconnect with our Indian friends, colleagues and family members so that we can not just strengthen them but also give or contribute back in terms of academics or research work as well. Well, keep doing all that you do in your journey towards tackling heart disease. We congratulate you. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure being over here. 
It's time for a short break, but the Times Now ICICI Bank NRIB Year Awards 2018 continues.